this rocket design is called the Lull rocket design and it is my own design it's designed to go supersonic on an Aerotech E25-7 engine it flies to 3426 feet at 1000 miles an hour in order to get it back it pops out a very large shot cord and then a 4 meter long streamer like so and it returns at almost 40 miles an hour um, normally it takes 10 seconds to fly up there and 51 seconds, 52 seconds to return but on this particular flight it lost its engine case so it took a, a total of 1 minute 29 seconds in the air nevertheless this rocket came back and it's in one piece I'm very proud of this rocket this is the actual flight Oh, on an E25-7. somewhere where I can find you. She is undamaged. Lost its engine. That's okay now. This rocket is called the Lull 4 and it has survived a supersonic flight and returned to me absolutely unscathed. This is the most um, survived supersonic flight. Um, it lost its uh, engine case, that doesn't really matter though, um, since it all deployed properly. And this is the definitive supersonic flight for me, the low 4, I've called this one. The Aerotech motors are ammonium perchlorate. They are rated at 22 newtons total power delivered at the rate of 25 newtons per second. This is the igniter, which is threaded into the core to the front end. It's a core burning engine. Red cap keeps it in place. And then there's electrodes either side of this copper igniter. The low rocket will accelerate at around 54.3 G will reach supersonic speeds at 760 miles per hour and above. This is a spent Aerotech engine. And this is um, an engine case that has yet to get used. <laughs> 